you think that it would have been like huge because of social media also helping no i don't think any movie works thing. because of social media whoever draws the audience gets paid the most you know it's so, all about the numbers yeah it's all about the numbers you know because you're because you are dealing with numbers right you're talking Absolutely. about payment something better could have done better something worse got affected more mm. you know i would love to collaborate with rochetti hello everyone this is sheena welcome back to e times exclusive catch up and today i'm at somebody's office and that is none other than goldi behel So Goldie is an industry veteran with an experience spanning across filmmaking, directing and production. So I'm really excited today to speak to him about a lot of stuff which you will watch in the episode. Let's go. Hello sir, welcome to E Times exclusive catch up with stars i'm really excited that you're on the show today because there's so much that we can take away from this conversation i'm sure thank you thank you so sir before we you know obviously get on to talking about other stuff i would want to know from you you are you know a powerhouse of talent in your own self because you're an you're a director you're a producer you also write so i want to know that what is it that drives you as this creative powerhouse well i think that it's a combination of all three of them you know and uh, so uh, you know when you have uh, multiple stories to tell and uh, the various ways in which you can tell the story it doesn't have to be every time that you think of a story or you know a story appeals to you it doesn't always have to be uh, directed by you you know mm. sometimes you can produce it or somebody else's vision is mm. there you can back it you know uh, sometimes you write it but you feel that you know uh, one thing is there for sure is that most of the most of my work all of my work is produced by myself you mm. know so i think that gives me the freedom and the liberty to uh, you know express in different different ways there's no rigidity from your end that you know i'm only going to do one thing or i am going to produce it i am going to direct it that's not there no no that's not there in fact uh, you know there shouldn't be any rigidity the uh, the point of uh, you know uh, being creative uh, is to survive is to uh, transform con mm. uh, continuously you know so if you're rigid you can't transform and you can't move move with the times you know and also accepting uh, you know uh, uh, what the trends are what the people are you know you work with new generations mm. you get a different insight you get to learn all the, all the time so as long as you're learning it's fine also talking about learning about new trends what you just spoke about you have uh, you know directed and produced a project in the past which is uh, you know which was a show which came on web which is rejects mm. and it spoke about gender fluidity and you know porn addiction and all those things which are very um, say trending and something which is there now in this generation and what's happening so i want to know from you that are those the kind of topics or trends that you're looking at now also you want to work on them or is there something else also that you you want to focus as a subject you know uh, uh it's always the environment and the ecosystem of the story which uh, talks to you which gives mm. you uh, topics to talk about you know i want to talk about everything you mm. know and i want to talk about uh, uh everything that's going on in front of me you know uh but then it it should also uh, you know mingle in well with the uh, yeah. story and the narrative you know so in rejects it gives give us a chance to talk about you know uh, teenage uh, young adults you know and uh, their issues you know mm. and um, you know the fact that they have to take the biggest decisions in life at the time when their brains are not completely uh, formulated you know Correct. is a very ironic and uh, difficult time you know it lends itself to you know different kinds of uh, also making people aware you know people you know uh, making people aware of uh, you know what's going on with the with the young people you know so uh, that you know surrounded and you know uh, presented with uh, in a sheen of entertainment mm. and uh, also helps us communicate you know right also talking about um, you know projects which are more say women centric um mithya which is your you know current project there are two females it's about two ladies so what's your take on that now what do you think since you are in the industry from a very long time you think that now things are changing gender is not something which has to play a big role but the idea or the story is something which is you know on the top see um 
I think some of the biggest hits, even in uh, from forever, have been women-oriented films. Mm -hmm. So I think that what was holding us back is uh, ourselves. You mm -hmm. know. Uh, if you see Mother India, you okay. know it's a woman or one of the biggest hits of all time. You know, uh, or you know, even recently, you know, before the whole OTT boom happened, and all there were many, many uh, stories and many, many. Uh, yes, not as much and not as uh, rampant as male-oriented. Uh, I think it's got to do with women audience as well. Mm -hmm. You know, and uh, it's got to do a lot of women writers and. Uh, creative people as well because uh, men have a very stereotypical way of looking at women mm -hmm. you know and uh, although we uh, appreciate and uh, find it interesting when a woman is portrayed multi-dimensionally uh, I don't know many men who have the foresight to conceive them and write them in that mm -hmm. way yes it is becoming more rampant now and it should why not uh, ultimately, we are all uh, slaves to the audience, you know. Absolutely. And uh, it, as long as the audience is accepting it, we are happy to uh, make it, you know. So do you also feel that this is a kind of an ecosystem? Because, you know, they always say that this is always a debate that films are a reflection of the society or it is how films are made then it you know obviously reflects on this reflects on the society and if we see today you know a big film like big budget film like Gangubai also having a woman uh, you know protagonist and of course then there's Mithya which has two ladies as the protagonist so do you think that you know this is what the society has kind of reflected or this is what cinema is trying to reflect on the society no I think it's always society that reflects on cinema uh, as a writer, as a producer, as a, as, as a director, anybody, not only me. Uh, we uh, uh, draw a lot from our environment and what we experience, you know. So I think that, you know, uh, women uh, have, uh, are finding uh, more space and rightfully so. And I think that that's, uh, we're just reflecting that. Mm. You know? I don't think it's the other way around. So it's a good change Absolutely. that the society is uh, reflecting on the cinema. I yeah. would say. and it's got to do with the <coughs> with the women more. You know, uh, you know they are much more confident and sure about themselves. Mm. And, and that's that's the only thing that matters. You know, yeah. and not only women, even a man, you have to be sure about yourself. Absolutely, you know? it's all about self confidence. Yes. But you've been in the industry for a very long time. Mm. You're a veteran now. We can see mm. that. But you see a massive difference if we take you down the memory lane and you know we tell you from the time you started, tab kya hota tha or abhi kya different aapko lagta hai. Are you talking about uh, the filmmaking style? Yes. Or are you talking about uh, women oriented yes, subjects? Yes. Uh, well, I I prefer this working style. You mm. know, it's more equipped uh, uh, for my thinking and my mm. belief system. Uh, you know, uh, so definitely it's more, far more organized, mm. you know, uh, far more liberating, mm. you know, more, more democratic, uh, truly understand uh, systems and how to work with them and, uh, uh, you know, making it a team effort, you know, and, uh, and stories are stories, yeah, mm. you know, you know, it's the fact that, you know, that it's about a woman or a man is secondary, you know. Mm. It should appeal, you know, and that's about it, you know. And I, th I'm glad we have reached that stage, you know, yeah. where we don't have to uh, <coughs> first think of the hero and then decide the story. You know. Yeah. So since you're a producer and you run most of the shows and films, so this is a question that's very relevant to you. So you think that uh, we'll also reach a stage where you know where this pay parity is sort of you know on the equal grounds? I think it is already. Yeah. It's a very controversial statement I'm making, but I <laughs> feel it is already because I feel that uh, whoever draws, as far as the theatre goes, you know, uh, cinema halls, whoever draws the audience gets paid mm. the most, you know. It's so all about the numbers. Yeah, it's all about the numbers, you know, because, you're, because you are dealing with numbers, right, you're talking Absolutely. about payment. So, uh, if uh, Deepika uh, pulls in more audience than Ranveer Singh in Padmavat, then she should get paid more. Or if Aishwarya is the bigger star than Abhishek, then she should get paid more. You know, uh, so I just feel that uh, yes, uh, have they been given enough opportunities to pull the audience? Mm -hmm. Now that's coming true, and you'll see yeah. more and more of that. You know, Absolutely. Uh, that's something that has been wanting, and now that's happening. So I think that whoever can draw the audience in, you know, on whose back you are writing the uh, budgets of the content uh, of the story, 
uh, they should get paid uh, accordingly you know uh, i've done a lot of television also gc and over there to the women always get paid more than the men you know so uh, so that i have seen that very relevant you know uh, uh, all the time you know so uh, you know and you know on gc to the women are the central characters absolutely you know? yeah so i think uh, we have a very fair producer sitting here with us <laughs> <laughs> he's absolutely very fair and i would say that i love that thank, thank you so much for doing you. it yeah. because you're the ones who are going to make the change you know and you're you're very practical in the sense numbers love you get paid yeah obviously you know yeah. i mean that's about it yeah it's as simple as that yeah think about it when drona was released mm. and if it was released today with the influx of social media and you know so much happening so much of marketing also happening now you know with the help of social media so how do you think it would have you know reflected on the film do you think that it would have been like huge because of social media also helping no i don't think any movie works thing. because of social media uh, i'm not a believer in that i started my career as a director in a movie called basatna zakhaven mm. and i was 25 years old there's a myth that you know uh, a story is uh, oh it was before its time mm. indirectly i tend to tell me that right so uh, that's a myth a story should be with its time you know and uh, uh, it wouldn't have worked or it would have worked the same i feel you know Uh, it just the proportion of the success and failure can change, but it would have still been the same. I find a lot of people nowadays coming up to me and yeah. telling me, "Oh, it's a cool movie, yeah, yeah, this and that, and all that kind of stuff." It was very Indian in its yeah, texture and look yes. and this and that and all that stuff. But uh, there was obviously something I missed, mm. no? So otherwise, it would have been the same now. It would have been probably a little less, but it still wouldn't have worked, you know. But is there something you know in your plan? that you're going to bring to the cinemas like for your I'm not working on any films at the moment I'm focusing more on uh, the OTT. Uh, OTT content you know and especially series because you know getting people in the cinema hall uh, is a different challenge mm. you know and it's a different uh, approach I'm not in that space at the moment in my head Yeah, absolutely. And COVID obviously has a huge role to play in that. Uh yes and no because uh We see see what Malay Malayalam cinema did, right? Oh my God! You know, uh, they made content that uh, mm -hmm. uh, made people come. You mm -hmm. know, so I don't agree with the bogus of uh, Corona uh, beyond a point. Of course, there were there, there was a lockdown. There was a lockdown, but you know, we know we hear uh, Spider Man did come out mm -hmm. and Pushpa did come out, and you know, they did exceedingly well. Uh, Suryavanshi came out; it did exceedingly well. You know, proportion yes, Suryavanshi would have done more business, but it did good business, right? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Or Spider-Man would have done even more. I yeah. don't know how, but it would have done even more. But it did do good business. So did Pushpa. It would have done even better. Yeah. You know, so uh, something better could have done better. Something worse got affected more. Mm -hmm. You know, and uh, when I say good and bad, I am purely talking from a theatrical perspective, okay. uh, which is uh, if people like it, it's good. People don't like it, it's not that good. So now I'm going to quickly play this fun game with you, where I'm okay. going to ask you some questions. Oh God. Okay. <laughs> okay. Those are basically your ones. one movie that you want you would want to remake one movie that i would like to remake yes this old movie of my father's called the train with rajesh khanna i would like to remake that one novel that you would like to adapt into a series or a film that i'm very clear on chanakya's chance by ashwin sanghi i've been really dying to adapt that but there are a lot of limitations one subject that you feel really strongly about and you'd want to portray more of it in your films and web series like i told you you know uh, resilience is a subject that i feel very strongly about and transformation is something i believe very strongly about who's that one director that you'd like to collaborate with it can be from the past present anyone as a producer yeah a producer director you'd want to collaborate with I would love to collaborate with Rohit Shetty. Okay, that would be amazing. Yeah, that would be amazing. <laughs> I really like his. I find it really fun, and I think I can value add to him in a little. Okay, what's that one quality that makes Goldie Behel the Goldie Behel? Quality? I don't know. Yeah, what do you think? You've just met me and spoken to me. I think you're very humble, very down to earth, and yeah. uh, you pass a lot of knowledge. People used to think I'm very arrogant, you know. I I disagree with that. Thank you so much thank sir. You. It was lovely chatting. Same here. Thank you so thank much. You so thank much. you. Thank you so much. Hi this is Goldie Bahel and you're watching E-Time exclusive catch up with the stars. Uh see you soon.